Thank you for your introduction and good afternoon, everybody. Um, well, I think these are enough from the start. Go back to this. All right. Well, uh, before I start uh, talking, I would uh, like to clarify that this presentation reflects the view of myself only, uh, which uh, does not necessarily uh, reflect FDE, HHE, or other government op opinions and policy. If you, if anything I, I said here you do not agree with me, you can blame on me, but do not blame on the agency. Well, this part is what is the uh, IQA and why IQA? Uh, this has been discussed by uh, Don earlier, so I do not want to repeat this again. Same thing here, I uh, give you a team and rules, I don't have to repeat it. I just have some details here, if you want to read it over, you can uh, read uh, at home. Okay, I'm going to speak to my uh, subject of uh, uh, talk, uh, drug product quality review as per IQA. I would uh, talk uh, three parts drug product quality reviewer's role in IQA. And I, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit more detail on that. And part two, drug product quality review essentials. And part three, common deficiencies in drug product quality review. I probably don't have enough time to go through the part three in detail. But I'm going to, uh, all the uh, uh, slides here, uh, you can, uh, I'm going to leave it for you to take home and read if I don't have time to go through. Well, drug product quality reviewers role in IQA. Very simple. To assess the adequacy of part of the chemistry manufacturer and controls in an application. It's very simple, straightforward. And specifically, a drug product quality reviewers role in IQA would involve drug substance review. Well, uh, Dr. Lim just talked about drug substance review uh, earlier. But this, uh, this is uh, different from what he had been talking about. Th that, that was for the uh, EMF, this for the, uh, for the ANDA. So the, um, the drug substance unit ANDA is a standalone document. That is totally different from the DMF. I just want to make sure that people don't get confused with that. So the reviewer would uh, expect the ANDA sponsor to provide uh, for uh, information about drug substance in the application, not simply say uh, refer to DMF. That is not acceptable. And the product quality reviewer would go uh, composition and formulation, control exhibits, control drug product, and container closure and stability as well. Okay, part two, drug product quality review essentials. I'm going to spend a little more time on this part. Okay, for drug substance evaluation, uh, the evaluation of drug substance will include the following areas, uh, pharmaceutical equivalence. That is the sameness to innovative drug product as per regular, regulatory expectations, the adequacy of controls, and the impact on product quality, safety, and manufacturability. And some recommendations for drug substance in, your, in the application. The reviewer would look for full description and complete information on physiochemical properties of a drug substance. And BCS classification, that should be de demonstrated by data. And a weak equal solubility as function of pH, especially for drug substance that is known to have very uh, low or equal solubility. And polymorphism, uh, usually, uh, thermodynamic forms of polymorphic forms should be identified and its impact on drug product manufacturability and performance should be discussed in the application. And adequacy of controls for drug substance. Uh, the drug substance specification usually should be in line with the DMF or tighter as needed. Why tighter? Because a uh, drug must file is specific to an AND application, which might be adequate for one application, but may not be for another application with, a, with different requirement. 
the limits for general impurities in should be in co uh, in, co in compliance with the ICHQ 3A uh, identification threshold and qualification threshold at for maximum daily dose and total daily intake to avoid the need for uh, toxicology in consult. The limits for potential general toxic impurity should be in line with ICH M7. Additional tests may be needed to ensure uniform manufacturability and quality of a drug product. For example, polymorphism, particle size, density, and a micro microbial test. That should be discuss, uh, discussed and justified in, uh, in, the, in the application. Reference standard of drug substance or drug product. If in-house reference standard is used, sponsors should submit and interpret all spectral data to confirm structures and purity. If USB reference standards are used, normally IR comparison is sufficient. Test method and method validation. If the sponsor uses in-house methods, four validation reports are, ne are needed. That's uh, as per the USP 1225. If transfer the method from DMF holder or outside lab, the method transfer reports and the method verification data should be provided by any sponsor, as per USP 1224. For compendial method, if compendial method is used by any sponsor, the uh, any sponsor need to still need to provide a method ver verification, as per uh, USP uh, 1226. However, this, uh, the ND applicant may use a different or modified competitive method in, uh, for, uh, for analysis of a drug substance. In that case, if the modified or non company method is used by the ND sponsor, the sponsor would have to damage the method uh, equivalent, equivalency to the company method at USP 1225. The retest date, usually 12 months retest date is accepted by the, uh, by the agency without any question. But if you provide, pro, uh, propose in higher than, longer than 12 months, you would have to provide in-house uh, um, uh, stability data for drug substance and the in-use conditions. Composition and formulation evaluation. In this sponsor is expected to assess Proposed drug product formulation, the use and amount of excipients should be justified with respect to uh, inactive ingredient database or in comparison to innovator product and target population and expected dosing. The sponsor may consider CFR 21.314.94 expectations regarding dosage form and ex uh, and and the exception is experience. This particularly uh, applicable to the uh, parental and the um, uh, transdermal products. Sponsor should also consider the design difference compared to innovator product and the size, shape, and visual difference compared to innovator product. And I also include the, uh, the link uh, regarding the uh, size, shape, and other physical attributes uh, of generic tablet and capsules there, so you can uh, take a look at that. And composi uh, the composition formulation evaluation. Well, a sponsor has a uh, flexibility in choice of uh, inactive ingredients when developing a generic product in many dosage forms. Also, a sponsor has a choice of uh, drug substance and excipient sources and the choice of a manufacturing process. Well, with uh, this uh, flexibility, of course, comes the responsibility. The applicant should identify and characterize the difference and provide information demonstrating that the uh, difference do not affect the safety of, pro uh, of the proposed drug product. The applicant should also understand and assess the, uh, the impact on drug product quality and performance. The control of exhibits. 
Well, majority of the exhibits are in relation to public standards, for example, national formulary and the United States uh, pharmacopoeia, and should comply with the uh, uh, public uh, company standards. Oftentimes, additional tests may be uh, necessary based on the product design and the manufacture, uh, uh, manufacturability and performance. Sometimes, uh, the review of time four, drug master five is needed, for example, for colorant and flavorant, etc. The control of drug product evaluation. Uh, the review staff would assess the test acceptance criteria used for routine product release and the stability test. Um, the control of drug products generally include the following tests. Video description, for example, uh, that includes uh, color, shape, uh, engraving, scoring, and size, dimension, etc. Identification test. Usually, two discriminative uh, identification tests are needed. Water content, especially when hygroscopic ingredients and what uh, wet granulation is involved in the manufacturing process of a drug product. Uniform formative of dosage unit as per USP 905, dissolution and drug release, assay. For the assay test, well, if the preservative or antioxidant is used in the formulation, that assay for those uh, materials are also needed. Impurities that will include identified, specified, individual unknown and total. Residual solids as per USP467 option one or two. Uh, microbial test, uh, uh, not for all the products, but that's a case by case. Some challenging areas on control of drug product. Identification of process impurities. The process impurities are uh, carry over impurities from the drug substance manufacturing process, uh, which can be defined as per consulting DMF holder or by chemical structures. That, that should not be very hard for if you have a, enough chemical, a chemistry background. The identification of a degradation product. A deg uh, the degradation products are formed during the manufacturing and the storage of drug product due to chemical degradation of drug substance or interaction with the environment, other components, and container, etc. And identification of other impurities, including impurities in, in excipients, uh, residual solvents as per ICHQ3C, and elemental impurities as per ICHQ3D. And qualification for common impurities. The limit for common impurities. Usually the ICH Q3B qualification threshold as per maximum daily dose are accepted. But not always. Sometimes uh, it's not ac acceptable because of the uh, known toxicity or quality concerns. The limits for compendial impurities usually are ac uh, accepted. Again, but not always, because of the uh, toxicity or quality issues in some cases. Compares, uh, the um, sponsor may also justify the uh, acceptance criteria by comparison with the RD using the same method of, method of analysis, or by demonstrating that the impurity is a significant human metabolite. For the, for the uh, human metabolite impurity, justification may not be acceptable in all cases because of the uh, quality concern. And sometimes we may still need a uh, clinical consult on that. Qualification of a general toxic carcinogenic uh, impurities. Well, usually the uh, TTC 1.5 micro per day is acceptable as per M7. And the, I'm not going to go through all this, and, and I have the uh, link for you to read. So you can just go, go through that uh, some, go for some details. Some challenging area on drug release and the dissolution. Well, 
drug product release and dissolution defines the performance of a drug product that can be achieved by drug product design, compared with the roughly listed drug, and as per pharmaceutical development studies. That should be provided all provided in your application. Analytical methods. Of course, the purpose of analytical method is to evaluate uh, uh, the drug product to see whether it confirms the quality and the performance. And um, analytical method must be discriminating and stability indicating. Some requirement for methods uh, uh, in the drug substance area are also applicable to the method in drug product. So I'm not going to go through all details uh, as I discussed earlier, so I don't have to uh, repeat. Container closure. The evalu evaluation of container uh, uh, function and controls will include the following aspect, the safety of materials used in the, in the container closure, the function, the performance, and the compar compatibility with the uh, drug product. For some uh, delivery, uh, de de delivery uh, devices that may need to uh, consult with the CDRH for design review, and device style inspection may be needed as well. Normally, the new packaging materials are not recommended by the agency. Sometimes the, um, the type, type 3 DMF uh, drug master file might be uh, reviewed. For stability and shelf life analysis and recommendation, well, the evaluation, evaluation of long term and the study, uh, studies. Uh, would include the uh, control room temperature, uh, stress stability study, force degradation study, initial uh, stability data, and proposed experiment dating period. Based on the uh, data uh, acquired from the exhibit batches. Okay, common division, uh, maybe a little bit more time. I can go, go, go through this uh, part a uh, little, little bit. Well, a list of deficiencies normally include the following drug substance and drug product, process, microbiology, and facility, biopharmaceutics, labor and environmental analysis. A deficiency will have three uh, types of deficiencies. Uh, uh, IR, information request, minor deficiency, or major deficiency. Well, what triggers the major deficiency? I have a list of the uh, situations that uh, would result in major deficiencies. Uh, identified impurity levels if uh, toxicology studies are required for qualification. A new source of API is needed. A new side of drug product manufacture is needed. Uh, when, um, when the uh, physical uh, properties are un uh, unacceptable, when there is a need for full-term stability to establish Expiration dating period because of fading, accelerated, and intermediate data are provided. And when new packaging system is needed, when system is not properly delivering the uh, uh, proper dose, that's for the uh, liquid product. And new analytical methods are needed because the method is not stability indicating or it's not sensitive enough to, uh, uh, and a significant method of change might be uh, necessary. This is a major uh, trigger for major deficiencies. We have seen so many cases uh, because, of, uh, because of this. And the critical quality attributes are not identified or controlled. An environmental assessment is not provided for plant uh, de uh, derived product. This is uh, only applied to a botanical product, not for synthetic product. Okay, this is a uh, common deficiency for drug substance. Uh, well, uh, there's so many, I, I, I don't think I have the time to go through all. I would uh, like to leave for you to take home and read by yourself. If you have any questions, you can simply contact uh, me or somebody else. So <laughs> I'm happy to give you an answer. Uh, this is a deficiency for composition formulation. And the common deficiencies for the, well, 
more for composition and formulation. And for control exhibits, control drug product. Um, Okay, container closure. Well, that that normally don't. It, it's a minor. Let's see where it is. Okay, finally, I would like to uh, thank Susan uh, Rosenkranz, who is the uh, the director of the um, OLDP and the division director uh, Relight, and associate director uh, Jeffrey. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>